In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this knight chess piece. A knight chess piece consists of two parts, a plinth, the base, and the horse's head. In this part of the tutorial I'm going to make the horse's head. So that the scale matches the base, I'm making a note that the size of the background image is 10.7. File New. To display a background image you must change the 3D view from perspective to orthogonal and select one of the standard views. I'm going to select the front view. Click the plus to open the properties panel. Scroll down and tick background images. Open up the panel. Scroll down, click add image. Scroll down, click open. Go to the folder where you have your image of the chess pieces. Select the image and open and scroll down and set the size of the background image to 10.7. I'm dragging on the X position of the background image to move the night chess piece into the center and I'm dragging on the Y position to move it behind the cube. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel and I'm clicking on the arrows to fine tune the position although it doesn't need to be precise. Now I'm going into edit mode and I'm going to delete all the vertices of the cube. Now we still have an object called cube with a center point but at the moment it has no vertices. To add vertices and to draw an outline around the chess piece, hold down the control key and left click with the mouse button. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Make your way around the outline. You don't have to put many vertices in to end up with a good shape. For that reason, it doesn't matter that the image isn't very high resolution. It doesn't matter if you don't put the vertex in exactly the right place, and you can always add and delete vertices afterwards. So just carry on going round. When you get to the end, don't put the last vertex near to the first because you'll think you've got a closed shape when you haven't. To fine tune the position of vertices, select a vertex and press G to grab to move it. Work your way round the outline, moving any vertices that need adjusting. Select G to grab and move. When you get to the last vertex, hold down shift and select the first vertex. The shortcut key to make an edge is F. Through the menus it's edges, make edge. From Blender version 2.63 onwards, we can fill our 2D outline with a single n-gon multi-sided face. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. In the mesh menu, faces, make face. The technique I'm using is to extrude a 2D shape to give a 3D model. First I'm going to turn off the background image. In the view menu I'm going to change to the right view. I'm going to press E to extrude and 0.7 and enter. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, we see our 2D outline as though it's been cut out of a solid wooden plank with a jigsaw. Next, the carpenter would shape the model. To do that, I'm going to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface. Now, the model subdivides horribly. N-Gon single faces hide complexity, and the complexity they hide is lots of triangles which don't subdivide very well. So I'm going to go back to the front view, and I'm going to press Ctrl-Z to undo what I've done. I'm going to try and make a reasonable model, letting the computer do as much as the work as possible. In the Mesh menu, Faces, Fill. I'm going to click the eye icon to hide the modifier until I need it. Mesh menu, Faces, Tries to Quads, will try and convert as many triangular faces to quad faces as possible. Now straight away I see a problem. At the bottom I'm going to want to do a loop cut and slide to flatten the base and this arrangement of faces won't give me the loop cut. So I'm going to do Ctrl and Z to undo. 
and I'm going to see the quad at the bottom, select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex, make edge, shortcut key is F, now press A twice, mesh, faces, fill, mesh, faces, tries to quads, and we get the quad at the bottom that I want. To extrude, I'm changing the view to the right view. I'm pressing E to extrude and 0.7 and enter. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. And I click the eye icon to unhide the effect of the modifier. And straight away, I think we've got a pretty good model at all levels of subdivision. There are some distortions caused by the subdivision of triangles, but they're not too bad. And in some places, they enhance the model. To flatten the base, click loop cut and slide. Approach a bottom vertical edge and when you get the loop cut, click and slide it down. I want to make the end of the nose narrower, so I'm going to go into edge select mode. I'm going to select an edge at the front of the nose, dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to enable proportional editing, press S to scale, shrink the nose down and use the mouse wheel to alter the area of proportional editing. I'm going to end the tutorial there. I will do a second part where I'll show you how to append the plinth, the base, to the horse's head. And I'll also show you how you can manually make all the faces quads. But that's it for now.